the story so far. Agent 47 and his handler, Diana Burnwood, are the world's top assassins working for the ICA. When all of their recent missions turn out to be contracts for a shadow client, things take an unexpected turn. All their targets have been operatives in an invisible organization known as Providence. Providence has infiltrated the highest echelons of power and secretly owns our world. The Shadow Client wages a silent war against them. And so the Constant, Providence's enigmatic controller, seeks Diana out. His request, track down and eliminate the Shadow Client. In return, he offers something irresistible. The truth of 47's lost origins. Neither know that the man they hunt is 47's childhood friend. And unlike 47, he remembers everything. indicates that she and her team are laying low, most likely planning the militia's next strike. Reynard is one of the Shadow Client's top lieutenants. And yet she's not a target. Not yet, anyway. She's no doubt high on our client's list, but for now, it's information we seek. Infiltrate the house and get us a lead on the Shadow Client. Up for some B&E, 47. On my way. Good aim. Now, according to the local home security provider, the house is equipped with multiple cameras placed around the perimeter. I suggest you get rid of them, 47. In a press conference earlier today, Montreal PD confirmed rumors that the found something. Crash, which claimed Looks like research reports. Berlin, Shanghai. Every major militia strike since Thomas Cross's kidnapping. Looks like Reynard had a hand in all of them. All in the past, I'm afraid. Keep looking, 47. Bodies, male and female, early thirties, executed. I see them. Poor bastards. Looks like Reynard's grisly handiwork, all right. She was never shy about collateral damage. The owners? Don't think so. The house is registered to a non-existing environmental NGO. This feels more like identity theft. Like you, Reynard is known to use disguises. Hmm. Keep looking, 47. Nothing we can do for these people now.
found something. A file on Rupert Pierce, founder of Dynasty Global. The world's largest internet read. Hello. Hmm. If Pierce is a Providence operative, he's likely on the Shadow Client's hit list. But it's not what we came for. Keep looking, 47. Forty-seven. That computer. See if you can't access it. Encrypted. Hmm. Assuming there's a key, Reynard wouldn't just leave it lying around. Wait. According to the floor plan, the room you're in should be a lot bigger. There might be a concealed space behind the wall. Check for hidden panels, Forty-seven. Ah, thought so. This should be interesting. Here we go. For the office computer, no doubt. Nicely done, 47. Should allow you to move more freely. Piers Reynard's cell is launching another strike. Those are sewer maps of a residential area in Wellington. Well, there's nothing we can do about it now. Our priority is the Shadow Client. I'm in. Hurry. I'm detecting movement up the road. A motorcade, possibly Reynard's. Uploading the data. Hold on. Receiving it now. Hmm. Nothing on the Shadow Client or the other cells. No names, no aliases. I doubt she even knows whom she's working for. Wait, here's something. A message from Robert Knox of Kronstadt Industries. And by the sound of it, he's a Providence operative. A defector. Well, well, well. Client won't like this one bit. And you can't wait to tell him. They're back. Multiple hostiles. I see them. Damn. We're going to get. Go to stage two, 47. Eliminate Reynard, and preferably without raising suspicion. One step ahead of the Shadow Client for once. Let's keep it that way. Ugh, I thought this night would never end. What a snob fest. And I even missed out on the action. I'm sorry you had to endure all that free champagne and cello music, Orson. What can I say? You really took one for the yeah, team. Yeah, well, I say stick to what you know. Welcome home, Alma and guests. It's Orson. Orson. Ugh, never mind. Maximilian, here, boy. Fancy place. Well, I suppose Alma has one out of an expense account. How much did the boss loot from that cross guy? Was it three billion? Something like that. But actually, this is Alma's old safe house, from her Bonnie and Clyde days with Sean Rose. Huh. Guess left-wing terrorism pays better than you think. Yeah, that or she shot the owner. Still, I've got to say, this is a swanky place to lay low. It's got a house AI and voice control and everything. Kick-ass security system, too. Of course, she never turns it on because of Max.
Apparently, he's so big, the sensors treat him as an intruder. Why not just lock him in the garage? <laughs> Orson tried that, and, uh, well, Max ate the tires on his SUV and half a bicycle. <laughs> no. Max doesn't like to be tied down. Well, they do say pets take after their owners. We've got a man down. I'm moving in. Target down. Well done, 47. Now get off the property. Mercs have discovered your body, 47. They're on high alert, combing the beach for intruders. Proceed with caution.
Well, it's official. New Zealand paid off. The client has given us carte blanche. Hunt down the militia by any means necessary. A week ago, Providence was a threat. How did you swing the board? The board are practical people, 47. A blank check is hard to turn down. Besides, the Shadow Client's war on Providence is causing a global panic. Someone will need to stop the militia. Might as well be us. And the man on the train? You never told them about his offer. Taking a contract for personal gain is against ICA regulations. Sodas would have been proud. Is that a sense of humor, 47? Whatever next, crying at the movies? Why are you doing this? I know what it's like to have everything taken from you. He claims to know about your past, your childhood, your memories, everything Ortmeier stole from you. And you trust him? About as far as I can throw him. But this is our best lead in 20 years. I say it's time we break a few rules. Welcome to Miami, 47. The innovation race is on its last day, and it is down to the wire. Thousands of eager fans are gathered for the final laps of this unexpectedly close race. Sierra Knox is expertly piloting her red Kronstadt car. Her father, Robert Knox, roams the nearby expo building where Kronstadt is showcasing its new prototype car. The Kronstadt RK Mark III has seen fierce competition from the Chinese Kowloon Heavy Industries' new racer. Moses Lee, CEO of Kowloon, has taken a dominant lead and looks invincible. Sierra Knox will need to risk it all if she wants to win for the third year in the world. The stakes are as high as they can get.
mass, those mechanics that the Grunstown team haven't made. I went by to in a pit stop yesterday, and it looks so futuristic in there. Have you been? It's the garage all the way at the end. Yeah, I went past there earlier today. They wouldn't let me in since I'm not on the team. But you'd want to think twice about getting a job there. I saw that Miller woman, the head mechanic, arguing fiercely with one of the other mechanics. I'm not sure what it was about, but from the looks of it, Kronstadt is now one mechanic short. And that's perfect. This one of the Kronstadt pit crew has quit the team in protest, and Grace Miller, the ball buster chief mechanic, is in critical need of a replacement. Why don't you step in and offer your services, 47? You're good with a wrench. Be by big chance, man. I want to get out of this race martial business and into actual mechanics. Imagine being part of one of the pit stops with Sierra in the car. But of course, they know I'm not going to kill you. Yeah. You seem to blend in well. Okay. Thank you again for taking the time to see me. Oh my god, I'm stressing out. Okay. The audience has come to see something special, and the drivers are not going to let them down. This could go down to the wire. Listen, Miller, I don't care about your problems, all right? I made it clear this morning that if things didn't change, I'd be off the Kronstadt team. Berate my skills as a mechanic because the roll cage interferes with the radio signals from Sierra's suit. No more. I'm done. Yes, I know you're a man short now, and no, I don't give a rat's ass about it. Time's up. Unless they're my salary for the entire week, and I'll come back in case Sierra decides to use that last kid's Nope. What do you expect? If you decide otherwise, I'll be down by the paddock. Best of luck, Grace. Oh, will you look at that? There is no holding back out there. The battle for positions going on into that corner. Boy, oh boy, that's great racing. Moses Lee is tearing up the track. Junior Slipper and you got injured yesterday, right? I suppose I am. Great. This is your lucky day. Do well and there's a bonus in it. Got it? Got it. All right, everyone. Look alive and get to your stations. Sierra may come in for a last-minute pit stop, and I need you ready and able. You, rookie, get into position. Grab your preferred tool and be prepared. Today's your day to shine. Let's do this. Chris, 
told me over beers last night. Also told me how Pierre had burned fuse when Grace refused to fly. Apparently they reached some sort of a compromise, though. I would know. Hey, Spanner Monkey, I just need to talk to you. Excellent, 47. And now for a bit of maintenance. That's it! Stop! Down. Next up, Robert Knox. Doctor gave me some sort of vitamin hydration boost, normally reserved for the drivers. Fixed me right up. What? Like doping? No. It's me. I'm here now. Ready to meet up with Sierra Knox over at the hotel. Yeah, off to the right. Go, pick up, pick up. It's good. It's real good. I mean, I get cravings if I don't come down here just once or twice a week. At one point, my work manager... I understood from the briefing earlier that we're just supposed to grab it if something happens to it. No poking around the engine or anything like that. Uh, Knox is a genuine technical genius. He's really protective about his projects. Prefers to fix everything himself, apparently. Don't worry about grabbing him. If anything goes wrong. Good. I dare say this should get Knox's undivided attention. Why's the engine off? Let's just try to get this started again.
Better call Knox. Mr. Knox? Yeah, it's Smith from down at the expo. Listen, the Mark III's making some, well, just odd noises. Uh, can you come? Great. All right. Yep. Yeah, I'll be here. Good job. Nice and tidy. I swear to God, if someone's been tampering with the car, heads will roll. I need you to get in the car. Don't touch anything until I tell you. Try the engine, Smith. All right, try it now. This should work. Ah, here we are. Just a loose wire back there. Let me just reattach it. Good. Hit it, Smith. Oh, oh no! Both targets down. Well done, 47. Head for an exit, and we'll speak again soon. Hey, you, this is not a place for you to be. Something is going down. Berlin. Shanghai. Montreal. We're bleeding operatives. Panic is spreading, and now we are axing our own? Knox was a traitor. He would have caused incalculable damage. And he won't be the last. This is exactly what the enemy wants. We need to fight the sickness, not the symptom. And I have just the tool for the job. Right. The Burnwood woman. Eric Soders warned you about her, didn't he? The Crusader. I can handle Miss Burnwood. Everyone hates power until you offer them some. And you ought to know. ICA speaks the enemy's language. We need them. And once we don't... <laughs> We'll cross that bridge when we get there. Fact remains, we are shadowboxing. We need to know who we are up against. I was getting to that. His name is Lucas Gray, the late Mr. Cobb's head of security. Cobb was ground zero, first of our operatives to die. It had to be one of his staff, someone with military training and access to the plane. Ah, uh, 
grasping at straws. Gray is a mercenary, a veteran of every backwater tragedy you've ever ignored on the five o'clock news. Chechnya, Sierra Leone, the list goes on, but before 89, nothing. No records of any kind. Oh, come on. CIA, KGB, plenty of spies went dark. After the curtain was lifted, I cast a very wide net. Lucas Gray simply does not exist. <clears throat> if you're all quite done wetting yourselves with excitement, I couldn't give two shits where he came from. I only want to know one thing. How does he know about us? I swear to God, this hearts and flowers crap will get us both killed. Can't you see? Your so-called friend is working for them now. He's not the man you knew. This is his fight too, Olivia. Even if he doesn't realize it. Like it or not, 47 is our last and only lead on the partners. He needs to remember. He's coming for us. And unlike you, he won't hesitate. Just get me inside. Rico, I need a favor. Welcome to Columbia 47. The remote village of Santa Fortuna awaits you deep inside the Colombian rainforest. An iron-fisted Delgado cartel rules over the village and its surroundings. Security around Santa Fortuna and the closed-off cartel compound is extremely tight. Armed Sicarios patrol the streets of the village, ready to enforce harsh punishments to those who do not comply. Rumors persist of hidden transportation cave systems connecting the village, the cartel compound, and the hidden coca fields beyond. It is a rare occurrence to have all three cartel leaders present in the village at the same time. Expect that all targets are protected by scrupulous killers armed with automatic weapons. Rico Delgado inhabits his fortified mansion on the outskirts of the village, while Andrea Martinez can be found in her village office, or around Santa Fortuna itself. And Jorge Franco is engaged in development of a new drug in his field laboratory. Happy hunting, 47.
can't come in. Get lost. Something of a daredevil, isn't it? jump out of a window before Hector discovered him. I think he hurt his leg in the process. Yeah, I heard. Even passed the letter around the basement bar at the party that night. Weird to think Hector and Martinez used to be an item. I mean, he's batshit crazy. She's so hyper luxurious. She can't even stand to be in her village mansion for too long. Talk about an old couple. Yeah, I love to see her face. Huh. Rico Delgado's brother Hector is trying to win back his old flame, Andrea Martinez. Apparently, Hector has authored a rather slushy love letter. For one of the Sicarios foolhardily stole it from Hector's room during last night's party. I suggest you acquire that letter, 47. From what we know about Martinez, a declaration of love from Hector is bound to provoke a reaction. If she ever found a letter, though. Rumor has it. You want to sell Great to see somebody doing their job. You want to sell Rico's been acting on you? You need to be extra careful around your family items. Mr. Delgado got some important pictures from things like that. with the territory that you read to me. Oh, I love this photo. Rico and the hippo when he took his first steps in the pen. Oh, you see any 
That is Andrea Martinez, the Delgado Cartel PR officer. I have a letter for things. Miss Martinez. All right, let me see that. Is that from Hector? I wouldn't know anything about that. Well, let me enlighten you. Hector Delgado and Andrea Martinez were an item once. Explosive and deadly. Things did not end well between them. He wants them to get back together. She wants them to go to hell. She's not accepting letters or gifts, or anything from him. And neither am I. You put it on her desk yourself if it's so important to you. Don't mind me. Well done, 47. This should be good. Instructions not clear? Yes, Mr. Martinez. Very clear. I don't know how that happened. Well, make sure it doesn't happen again. Burn everything that even remotely smells like that idiot. Got it? Yes, Mrs. Martinez. Ah, to hell with it. Let's see what that fool has to tell me. Let's see what he has to say. My, Hector, you romantic fool. I had no idea you still felt this way. Maybe, hmm. but has he really changed? One thing to say all these things, these wonderful things. Another is to have actually changed. We did have some good times, Hector, it's true. But you're just too dangerous. A loose cannon. I can't trust you to do right by me. And yet I do feel some of those old emotions as well. No. No, I can't do this. This has to end. Martinez is down. Good work.
So, the ever-classy Rico Delgado has commissioned a statue of himself to adorn the village square. Today's unveiling ceremony will feature a local band, and Rico Delgado will attend in person. I suggest you take a closer look, 47. This should be a unique opportunity to engage Delgado outside the walls of his compound. Entonces, Javier is seeing his boss's daughter. What? Did you see the poster? Rico Delgado coming down to us dirty villagers. Don't wear some particular statue. Sure, I was at the bar. Does that foundation look entirely stable to you? Well, I mean... You just saved yourself a lot of trouble. Another game I'm going to convert. But that's not different. I'm not amazed on that. No. No. Where no, it doesn't. It's pretty a little scrambling around the edge. Kinda like Rico, eh? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Aren't you loco? Don't talk about the boss like that, huh? Hmm. You heard that? Go see. Well, claro. itself again, right? I don't know, man. I've been like smuggling this cocaine souvenir around the world, right? I need to get it to this dude, uh, Franco. It's supposed to be in one piece when I delivered over by some cave entrance behind the pharmacy, but it broke. Bummer, man. Maybe you can glue it together? I don't know. Time to go water, girl. Yes. I'll be right back. Yeah. You practically finished the whole damn barrel single-handedly. Maybe not the greatest idea, Bessie. Touch. It's like everything just makes sense. Just blending in with the locals, becoming one with everything. Now we can go and fuck himself.
those banner members are leaving it up your top. I see them all around the village, drunk out of their mind. Sería tan amable. Do you mind giving me some privacy here? Your inappropriateness knows no boundaries. You really need to leave. My husband nearly lost his arm when that winch broke, but I think he's on the mend now. He got lucky, I guess. So what happened? He says it's better if I don't know. The Delgado cartel is very... Perdóname, pero vete. Just go! Excuse me, I'm ready to get back to work.
That is P Power. Real name, Paul Powers. Celebrity tattoo artist and reality TV star. I heal quickly. What? I think I just found a weapon. I'm no expert, but it looks real to me. You stand back. I'd see what Thank it was. You. Oh, okay. An underground cave system with a submarine. Ah, this must be what ties the militia and the cartel again. together, 47. Listen, Rico really wants to see the sub running. When you're ready to do the demo for him, let me know. I'll call him down here. So you finally installed the limiter on the engine. About time, if you ask me. I can't believe it broke my voice. Yeah, you don't get happy to walk around that wow. Hey, yo, what's up? Hey, watch it. Way to crank the engine up that high again to remove the limiter. Project obviously important to him. What did he want? I'm so not sure. The engine Guess he just wants to see the sub running. He told me to make sure so we the radio the second That's ready for inspection. Right, I'm ready for the demo. Can you call Rico, please? Okay, amigo. I'll get right on it. Long time no see. If it's me, I'm in the caves. The sub's ready for the demo. Come on down, man. It's looking beautiful. as gorgeous as this, honestly. This, this, people, is a real game changer. Well, well, well. Look who's back on his feet again. Good to finally meet you in person. I guess the accident wasn't that serious after all. I've caused worse, Mr. Delgado. <laughs> I like your style. <laughs> but enough screwing around. Get that engine pouring. I want to see how much power this baby holds. I'll do my best, Mr. Delgado. Good thinking, oh, 47. Right. Delgado will you want to see this beast in action. Up what? close and personal. Tons of cargo? We have increased the cargo capacity of the submersible to the required specifications, Mr. Delgado. So, theoretically speaking, how many armed men could we ship around in this thing? On top of all the drugs we'll be exporting worldwide? Around six, sir. Ten tons of pure white and six soldiers. <laughs> that is truly something else. It's like a submersible party bus, sir. Ah, the sound of that engine running. Smooth like a hummingbird. And what? I want to hear this mountain lion roar, my friend. Give him more power. Yes, sir. Now, finally, the engines. It is of the utmost importance that this sub goes as fast as possible. I can definitely say this is the fastest sub I've ever done. 
been eliminated. Nicely done. How may I help you today, senor? I'd like to buy some glue, please. No, I'm afraid we just ran out of that item, senor. I saw the last bottle to the mechanic next door. See, si, see, si, whatever. As soon as I'm done here and she's ready to hit the road, the money will be rolling in. I just need to find a chauffeur who's dumb, I mean, who's lucky enough to get the opportunity to drive her. <sighs> Do you sell glue? A la puta. What on earth are you doing? That is so immature. What the fuck? Ah!
was that sound? Oh, come on! Hola, you rang? Hello, soldier. Wow, radical chrome dome, my man. Hey, listen, do you have any glue? No. Yeah, the figures. I don't feel so good. Wow. Oh, man. Bad shrimps, perhaps? Go. Oh, yeah, I get it. You want to pass? I check your pockets. That's not up for discussion. I better not find something on you. You don't want to know what's going to happen if I do. Okay, everything seems to be in order here. Hey, you'll get those steps in, huh? All right. Mr. Franco is expecting you in the caves below. I'll just radio the others. Hang on. Groovy. It's Carlos. Tell Franco his guest is here. All right, come with me. Try not to get lost, okay? Place is kind of dangerous. I'll do my best. So I guess all that make love not worth thing has sort of lost its luster, huh? I live by my own rules. I thought your hippie types were only into the soft drums. I'm surprised to see you working for Franco. I do what it takes to get what I need. Franco tested it immediately. He's a human purity test. 
So that's how uh, he knows the recipes so, every time? Despite an annoying days. delay, it's finally here. Let's have a look. It got through customs without a problem, we hope. I had no issues. Excellent. We're not sure whether this will pass the taste test, but that remains to be seen. Follow us, please. Nice one, 47. And now for Franco to sample his handiwork. Feeling right. Bathroom, bathroom now. Status. Columbia assignment successful. Tactical targets neutralized. Militia transport network disabled. Location of primary target unknown. Team chasing several leads. End message encrypt and send. checks out. We can prove the board knew about the chemical leaks. We'll have grounds for a retrial. It won't make a difference. They're too powerful. They're not the devil, Nancy. Just a company. They're not above the law, don't you see? This is bigger than James. Those bastards killed 80 people. And they got away with it. Think about what that means. No one's untouchable. No one's untouchable. Diana! Coming!
got what we came for. Move out. Welcome to Mumbai, 47. One of the most densely populated cities in the world, home to more than 12 million people. If you wanted to disappear and hide from the world, this vast city is perfect. The maze-like sprawling slums offer secret paths and surprises around every corner. The elusive Maelstrom knows the city like the back of his own hand. Locating him will be a considerable challenge. A place to start could be the slums where his former gang, the Crows, has recently risen from the ashes. Darwood Rangan will be easy to find in his half-finished tower, wrapping up his new film called Mumbai Hero. While Vanya Shah has ensconced herself in the overgrown remains of an old train yard. Your three targets call this labyrinthine part of the city home, so choose your approach carefully.
sure it's him? 47. The street gang known as the Crows are on high alert. They seem to be on the lookout for potential assassins and will be suspicious of anyone they don't recognize. I suggest you are my... 47. Our intel suggests the Maelstrom is hiding somewhere in the city slums. I've marked the headquarters of the Crows on your map. It's me. It is imperative you notify me as soon as Sargar's barbershop is open again. He is an excellent source of information, and I want to make sure he understands who he's working for now. Signal me at once when the shop is open. That is all. Any idea why the boss wants to know when the barbershop is open again? Yeah. Sagar the barber has a side business dealing in information. He basically has a snitch in the slums. It is imperative you notify me as soon as Sargas barbershop is open side. again. Bobby is an excellent down source of hideout. information, sure and I want to make sure he understands who he's working for now. Yeah. All the secrecy. This barber is tangled up in some shady business, 47. But even more interesting, he may have seen a picture of the Maelstrom in the hideout of the street gang known as the Crows. That picture would be very helpful to our cause. Call me at once when the shop is open. That is all. Has anyone seen Bavin Sagar? I have a job interview today and I desperately need him to shave me. Have you showed that picture to the barber? Yeah. He was literally about to shit himself when we brought him down here. Delving straight into the heart of darkness, 47. Good luck. down and your hands up. Don't move, Arsene. You know how many people I've shot? It's like a lot. Oi!
What's the trouble? Hey, look over. Photograph and a note addressed to Sagar the Barber. This looks like a very recent picture of the Maelstrom. With this in hand, picking him out in a crowd should be possible. You could also investigate the barber shop and see what is going on there. My brother told me the story about. Forty-seven? That man there. He resembles the Maelstrom. Try to get close to him for a visual ID. And to hear that serpent Vanya Shah talking about how he does It looks like him, but that's not the Maelstrom. To be fair, he did program it so that it only showed That is not the Maelstrom. Now it plays everything, even the cricket. I told him not to mess with it, but he didn't care. I tell a twelve-year-old what to do. What are you doing? You need to open the shop. There are people waiting outside already. I, I, I can't remember what he looks like. The guy the crows wanted to... Wait! I need to shave. Why, Why isn't the shopper? Hey, open the shop. I desperately need a shave. We're open for business. We know what the Maelstrom looks like and expect him to show up. Patience and shaving cream is what's on the menu now, 47. No, that's not him. Yes, finally! You Namaste. have no idea how important this shave is to me. Thank you. Not at this moment. 47, I'll that be. man by the counter. That's the Maelstrom. Well, looks like our patient's paid off. Boy, how about you invite him in for a close yeah. shave? I want to shave? I'm afraid not, sir. What? I'm sorry, sir. Not right now. Hello. Oh, yeah. Not God, right now. Just wait and watch. Maybe next time, then. I'm ready for you now, sir. Me? Wonderful. Shah, the slum queen. What's that? She recently took over the laundry washing district near the train yard. 
There's a new foreman there and everything. She's being quite protective about it as well. Interesting. <laughs> yes, the whole... Okay, good as new. Ah, it's all refreshing. are changing my friend can you feel it in the air my bones are creaking with joy at the prospect of what is about to happen i don't feel anything i'm afraid you will friend you have an important task ahead of you have you not i sense that about you together we will all release the shackles that have bound us far too long and rise up against those who seek to keep us down whether those are our friends or foes. A day of reckoning is coming, is it not? It does seem unavoidable. Indeed. The question you must ask yourself when the time comes is what side you choose to be on. But... <coughs> The infamous Maelstrom is dead. Very well done, 47. No rest for the wicked, however. On to the next one. Are you interested in cloth wares? The finest colors and fabrics anywhere. You there, sir, please. One moment. You look like a discerning gentleman. We have the fine fire power here. Mark my words. Which me luck, Did you have any luck? No. That tailor is impossible. I explained to his employee that Miss Shah wants to meet with him, but he claimed that the tailor wasn't available. So you didn't just go inside and look? Only the royal guards can do stuff like that. I'm sure Miss Shah will send someone with more hands-on experience than me. He's the only tailor in town that can make that damn dress. That's what happens when you drown on the... It appears Vanya Shah is in the market for a dress fit for a queen. She's sent after a local tailor, but for some reason the man refuses to cooperate. A man of your impeccable taste should be able to fill in perfectly for the tailor. Oh, Vikram. What are you going to do? Listen, I, I have to go out for a while. If anyone asks for me, just tell them I'm not here. Find out what kind of dress a woman like Vanya Shah wants. Ah, it's you. Did you bring the cloth for Miss Shah? Ah, 
It's you. Did you bring the cross from the shah? Shah wants a cerulean dress, 47. Perhaps you will be able to source a roll of the right fabric at the local cloth market. Greetings, sir. Can I interest you in my fine wares? Cheap, durable cloth in many special colors. Silk. How much of these? Ah, my friend, you have chosen well. Now, we have the best prices here. What do you say to 140 rupees per running meter? Does that sound fair? <laughs> no? Nothing? Ah, I can see you're a man of refinement. Dazed and a skilled haggler. My kids will only eat rice tonight, but it's yours for 105 rupees. It's a deal, yes? It's a deal. Ah, good, good. Take any of the bundles, please. Just one, though. Great. Thank you. Come again. Hey, my man. Ah, it's you. Did you bring the hey, cloth? Yes. I have it right here. About bloody time. Come with me. Oh, don't be alarmed, by the way. Miss Shah takes security very seriously, so the guards will search you. Not do it. See what you have in your pockets today. I'm not exactly enjoying this either, so just stay still and we'll be done soon. Go on ahead. Miss Shah has been dying to meet you. It's not wise to keep her waiting, you know. I won't disappoint her then. That is a good idea. She's not been happy with the other tailors. A word of warning. Just play along with her eccentricities. She can be rather dangerous. Thank you. I'll do my best. Good man. Do well and there'll be a lot of money in it for you. I know. Here we are. Just go through there. The queen is waiting for you in the garden. I feel perhaps that is not the wisest decision to make when in a financial situation such as yours. Of course, eventually you'll have extra hands to assist you with your income. Provided the child lives. That so is Vanya Shah, self-appointed queen of the Mumbai the slums. Well. Five years, Mr. Hussein. Five five years, my queen. Yes. Five additional years of servitude to your queen. For you and your wife. In exchange, I will take care of the bills for your new one until she is old enough to work the spinning knots. That is my offer, Mr. Hussein. Talk it over with your wife. I expect your acceptance tonight. Good day. Ah, the elusive tailor. Here at last. Let's have a look at the cloth you've chosen. I want to make sure the color is the right one. Yes, of course. Excellent. Finally, some progress here. Come with me. I want you to take my measurements while we're here. Smart work, 47. Shah will want to have privacy when measuring for the dress. I'll leave the final execution day. up to you. Leave us. I want some privacy. Let's start the measuring right away. 
If you didn't bring a deep and pretty ceremony that Dean said there's behind the gun, you can use that. Relax your back, please, Miss Sharp. I'll just measure your arms now, Miss Sharp. Turn around, please, Miss Sharp. I need to measure shoulder to shoulder. Confirmed kill on Vanya Shaw. Excellent work, 47. Just one target left. Let's bring this one home. in there now? Yeah. Shah sent someone over to talk to him, but he refused to come down. Huh. Seems rather silly. It's a big... Another one of Vanya Shah's servants just came by to try to convince them of I wish you would stop talking about the maelstrom like that, old positive and happy. What? Why? Hey, excuse me. You know who Gregory Arthur is, right? The famous American actor? Have you seen him around the city? No? Please tell him to come see me if you do. He's got a photo shoot inside the tower, and Mr. Rungan does not like to wait around. Gregory Arthur, a famous Broadway star, is apparently late for a photo shoot inside Rangan's unfinished tenement tower. Hang on, he uploaded a selfie on social media about half an hour ago. Hmm, the Mumbai Food District. He's likely still there, 47. What do you want?
37. I'm picking up Gregory Arthur's cell phone signal. He's close by. No more vomiting. Interesting look, 47. Well, Darwood Rangan is at the tower expecting Mr. Arthur any minute now. No need to keep him waiting. Hey there. You need clearance to pass. You don't have it, buddy, so go away. Back the fuck away from me and keep your eyes to yourself, or I'll stab them both out. Have a great day. Mr. Arthur, that is you, right? Oh, I'm so glad that you're here. They're all waiting for you in the tower. Mr. Rangan wants to wrap the shoot up as soon as possible. Photo shoot. Right. Once you're upstairs, you should talk to the photographer. I think he's ready for you. Good luck, sir. I'm afraid your honest look isn't going to cut it here. I'm going to have to fix it. through here, I need to frisk you first. Hold that position. We'll be done in no time. Okay, you're good to go. Everyone. I'm here. Excellent. This means we can get on with it. Good. Good. Absolutely loved you in blundering frights. 
I thought it was a brilliant performance in a very funny horror comedy. Oh, thank you. You know, my brother directed it. I'll be sure to let him know you liked it. Hmm, it didn't do very well, but, but I understand it has become something of a cult classic in Europe. I think it's a misunderstood masterpiece. The camera work alone is magnificent. I mean, obviously, I'm a little tainted by my profession, but I think everything from the lighting to the cinematic tools used was just amazing. Is it true it's loosely based on the Cassandra Snow books? Well, yes, I, I suppose. How's everyone? Ready for the photo shoot? I know I am, so let's do this. Great, folks. Let's all get into position for the big photo, shall we? All right. Okay, less chatter and more laughter, friends. So, Miss Hassan, I guess you're ready for another round of Mumbai Hero soon? I've got big plans for a sequel. Hmm? Big plans. I'm sure you do. I think you will need to talk to my agent about that. Ah, agents, I never did like them. They go, I prefer the more direct approach. Acha. Well, I'm hopefully kicking off some international roles soon, so my availability may be limited. I see. Well, I certainly hope nothing should happen that would prevent you from pursuing your goals, Miss Hassan. Great work! Now, if we could do a few shots of just Mr. Arthur and Miss Hassan, please. Arthur and Hassan? As if they're that important. I suggest we do another round of solo shots of the guy who gets first billing. Me! <laughs> uh, if you say so, Mr. Rangan. <laughs> I do, I do say so. Come, come. Shoot. Oh, Gregory, stick around, huh? I want to talk to you when I'm done here. All right, people, get off the stage. It's time for the big guy to do his magic. Excellent, 47. It looks like Rangan wants a private word. I suggest you humor right, the man. Get off the stage, Gregory. You've had your moment in the spotlight. Tell him. How about like this, hmm? You're a natural at this, Mr. Rangan. Oh, maybe this way is good, huh? The women really like this pose. Are when I pull off this look, all housewives in a two-mile radius will faint automatically. Well done, Mr. Rangan. That's excellent. Oh, Hero, you're so strong. Oh. All right. I think that's enough beauty shots for one day. Great! That's a wrap then. Champagne for everyone. Are Mekarao, great things will come from this movie, guys. Let me tell you, I've got a feeling that this one is the one that will make me famous. You know, it just goes to show that hard work and dedication is what is needed in this business, yeah. Mr. Rangan, you wanted to see me. Ah, Gregory, yes, yes. Come with me upstairs. I have something important to talk to you about. Gregory, Gregory. As you know, there's a lot at stake with a production like this. Hmm? Everyone needs to play ball. We are on the same team after all. But it's important to establish a pecking order. Hmm. Soon all of Mumbai will be mine. I'm sure you can imagine what that means. Okay, Gregory. I just need my friend here to pat you down. Don't want any recording devices or things like that accidentally going off. Hmm? I'm sure you understand. Sir, if you want to pass through, I need to check that you're not carrying anything dangerous. Funny. My mother always said I had good hands. Said I should have been a surgeon. Okay, you're all fine. Off you go.
All right, Gregory, here's the deal. And don't interrupt me, all right? I hate being interrupted. You're a smart guy, I know that. Big deal back in America. But the thing is, I don't like you. I don't like the way you dress, the way you behave yourself around the women on set, or the way you try to steal my thunder. I'm willing to overlook all of this, Gregory, because we can make great things together. However, and this is very important, if you ever try to take my place, if you ever think you can become bigger than Daud Rangan, you're in for a world of good. I will destroy you and your family. Your mother, your friends, your pets, anyone and everyone will die. Hmm? Do as I tell you, and I can make you more famous hey, than you've ever dreamed have of. Have an okay day, okay? Cross me, and you're dead. Understood? I think I understand. Excellent. In that case, we're done here. Niles, it's Rangan. No, no, in fact, I need you to burn everything. Kale has called it off. Orders from above. Yeah, we are laying low for a while until everything blows over. Can't say. Weeks, a few months, maybe. You know, in a way, it's a good thing. It gives me a chance to promote this new movie. It's going to be great, Niles. Well, you say that now, but once you see it... I don't really care, Niles. You take it up with Kale. I'm telling you to burn everything. Yes, them too. Everything and everyone. He doesn't want anything to link back to us. Yeah, do that. You call me when it's done. What is taking that artist so long? I'm not asking him to paint the entire bloody building. It's just a tiny canvas. I saw him pacing nervously earlier. Maybe he's out of inspiration. Yeah, maybe a sound beating will provide him with the motivation needed to finish the work. I can make that happen, Mr. Ryan. Artika, but... them a little harder, my friend. I'm... Uh, I'm not really com comfortable with that, Mr. Rangan. Comfortable? Who cares about that? Uh, you Jeez. come here to me, Daud Rangan, an incredibly busy man, and you... that right can you go see what it was i am understanding That 
sounded odd. It came from over there, right? Can you go yeah. see? Please. Yeah. I got you. Just stop. Hey, Mr. Big Schnut, the fed up! Oh, shit! I found this. The script? You found it. Thank you so much. Not a problem. Listen, the scene needs the fan we're running. Run over and man it, will you? Right before the scene starts, I'll signal to you to turn it on. Just make sure the safety is on and you don't go above the indicated power. I'll round up everyone. You got it. Good work, 47. Darwood is hurrying down now to act out the final scene with Hassan. Let's make sure he doesn't news, run out everyone. of wind. We have found the script. Get to your places, we are ready to shoot. All right, everybody, Mr. Rangan is on his way. We just need to get this one scene in the can, and then that is a wrap. Karishma, here's that last line that you kept missing. I'm yours forever, and now kiss me, hero. Hmm. Right, right. So, um, what is my motivation? Like, why kiss him? He is a foul pilot, after all. You love him. It is a pure, intimate love that has bloomed over the course of the weeks that you've spent in captivity. The evil witch queen had clouded your mind all of those years, but after he set you free, you realize that he is your true love, your hero. I don't know. It sounds kind of unrealistic to me. I mean, sure, he saved me and everything, and, and I understand why I would be grateful. But a kiss? Maybe just a firm handshake? Or a hug, even? Oh, you're full of love, Karishma. Mumbai has been rescued, set free. All right, people, time to get this show on the road. I'm here, my lips are ready for the final, most important shot of the film. Charisma, are you ready? As ready as I'll ever be. Okay, let's get this show on the road. Start the fan. Are chalti yaar, fast marks, come on.
thought you said you'd never be in one of those kinds of productions.
According to records, this was a youth correctional facility until 1962, when the estate was overtaken by an obscure Soviet research fund, the Institute for Human Betterment. Looks deserted. The place was abandoned after a fire in 89. Then, only a few weeks ago, it was acquired by an anonymous investor using cryptocurrency. It has to be Lucas Gray. He's here. Be careful, 47. The breadcrumbs were almost too easy to follow. It could be a trap. Not a trap. An invitation. You came home. I knew you would. You've come a long way, 47. And even now, you don't remember. This place. This was our prison, where father trained us, shaped us into killers for providence. Now, you don't remember. They ripped it out of you, wiped it away, but I do. I remember. Everything. You're a terrorist with nothing to lose. You'd say anything. I know. It's difficult. You never miss your mark or question your function. But we made a pact. You and I. Do this, and we both lose. There was an incident. That boy, he died. He lived. Because of you. Don't you remember his name? You know this. Deep down, you know. What was his name? Subject Six. Your name is Subject Six. And what is our purpose? To take them all down. 